Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Yes, it's finally here. Hello all dinosaurs and fellow boys and girls, I am Dan and today we have the Indoraptor to review. I am super excited and guess what? We are doing this right in front of my dinosaur shelf. Check this out. And we will do a comparison with all the other Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom action figures. How cool is this? Let's get started. Okay, let's begin by unboxing this. One side of it is actually opened. The other side is still taped right here. I'm using a box cutter. Please do not use this at home by yourself, okay? Have your parents to help you. So there you go. Check this out. Carefully protected with some foam right here. Oh, amazing. This is so cool. Yes, the Indoraptor is out from its cage. Oh, plenty of marshmallows. Marshmallows. Okay, these are not marshmallows. These are just foam, okay? Yes, yes, yes. The Indoraptor looks amazing. Okay, it's time for us to have a close look at this. Oh, what a beauty! Okay, check this out. First, let's check out the packaging. We have the Jurassic World logo. We have Owen and Blue right at this corner. Okay, this action figure looks really huge. The background you can see, some forest and this metal bars, which I believe it's the cage which um, was used to contain the Indoraptor until it escaped, I suppose. At the back, check this out, you have this Indoraptor standing on its hind legs, looking very tall. The arms look kind of amazing. And this is another pose, which means this Indoraptor has plenty of posability which is really amazing. And um, you can find some other figures right here. We have um, Claire with the gyro spear, which is crack. And um, Owen with blue right over here. And yes, very, very, very nice. I'm gonna unbox this right now. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is a beauty. Okay, this action figure, firstly, um, the first impression, it is brilliant and it feels pretty heavy. It actually feels heavier than the Conotaurus by a lot. It is actually way heavier than the Conotaurus, which is really good. It is very solid. Okay, here's the tail. So we are going to snap this right in. Um, I suppose it should be pointing upwards. So let's do this. Okay. Pardon me, man. I'm just being really careful with this. I'm pointing downwards, I suppose. Yeah, I think it should be pointing downwards. Um, maybe I should check the instructions. Yes, we are safe. The tail is curving downwards. Okay, so that is correct. So now let's take a look at this beauty. This is really fantastic. I must say this is definitely the best, if not the best. I mean, it's definitely one of the best, if not the best figure from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, the other one I feel it's the Conotaurus for sure. So yes, very, very awesome. First impression, really brilliant. So now let's take a um, overall look at this figure, okay? Brilliant details. 
The surface it's very shiny. It has a gloss over it. Pretty long figure. Some spikes right here, as you guys can see, plenty of details. You can see the scale texture. The material is very different as compared to the Conotaurus. The Conotaurus has a more matte finish, um, and this Indoraptor has a shinier and glossier finish. Amazing too, you can see some paint work right over here. Flip it over. A brilliant sculpt. The tail is slightly flexible. Okay, now let's take a very close look at the head sculpt. Okay, there's one point of articulation on the neck. Another one right here. Some rubbery spikes or rather thorns. Or feathers, not too sure. The jaw can be opened. Nicely painted, not much details going on um, on the inside of the tongue. If you compare it, the Conotaurus has a hard plastic tongue and this um, Indoraptor has a smooth rubbery tongue. And um, I must say, I prefer the tongue of the Conotaurus. <laughs> okay, check out the teeth. Okay, the jaw is actually rubbery as compared to the Conotaurus, which is made of hard plastic. Um, to be frank, I prefer the material from the Conotaurus, but it, it is definitely more brittle. Okay, let's move on. You can see this yellowish golden stripe across the Indoraptor. Some spots right over here. If you flip it over, you can see some nice muscle definition right over here. Some nice scales across the neck. The scales are of different sizes. Smaller scales on the lower jaw. The jaw can't be open really huge um, if you compare it with the Indominus Rex. Let's move on to the arms. Very, very articulated arms. One, two, three. Three points of articulation. You can turn it like this. 360 you can move it up and down. Wow, so plenty of posability. You can even uh, move the forearms like this and the wrist. Amazing stuff. The Indoraptor has four fingers one, two, three, four. Wow, two more fingers than a T Rex. So plenty of posability. This is incredible. Okay, moving on to the body, you can see some nice um, osteoderms right here. Plenty of muscle definition and veins, some, some skin folds right here. Some feathers or rather spikes of thorns. And moving on to the legs, these legs are huge. These thighs are huge. Or you can move it sideways like this. You can move the, uh, the knees and this part right over here. And check out those claws. Very bird like. But this sickle shaped claw is really huge. And this definitely um, takes after the claws of a velociraptor. The tail is very thick and powerful and very very long if i'm not wrong this dinosaur has the longest tail as compared to um, the indominus rex tyrannosaurus rex and the conotaurus and this tail would definitely make this dinosaur much swifter and more balanced so this dinosaur is super fast okay the tail can be moved like this you can't turn it, but you can move it um, like this. You can't rotate it fully. 
and this portion right here is made of very flexible rubbery um, material plenty of details right over here okay this figure is amazing but I must definitely admit I prefer the kind of material they have used for the kind of Taurus but you know maybe this um, dinosaur has the DNA of um, maybe some sea creatures which is why the skin texture feels kind of um, or rather looks kind of um, glossy so yes this is the Indoraptor fantastic figure it can definitely stand well because um, you can actually pose it in a variety of um, pose very cool I love this okay time for us to have a size comparison shall we okay we are going to compare it with the action attack stegosaurus this is one super cool um, stegosaurus I mean action figure place it right beside the indoraptor size wise I think they look pretty proportionate so here's the stegosaurus let's move on to the next one we have the battle damage tyrannosaurus rex have you guys seen my review on this if not do check it out very cool and speaking of the tongue I think um, the Indoraptor has a material which is pretty similar to the tongue of this better damage T-Rex this is hot plastic that is our um, flexible plastic um, or the rubber not too sure size wise it is definitely way bigger than a T-Rex cool next we have this Baryonyx okay wow, one of my most favorite I must say this the Conotaurus or rather the Indoraptor um, are fighting for the top spot of my most favorite action figure and this Baryonyx is definitely among the top three if not the top five okay this Baryonyx it's a raw revolver which means it can actually roar battery operated right below sound coming out from this portion right here very beautiful um slightly smaller than the indoraptor okay next we have the matrio cantosaurus which is equally impressive this is a raw river can move the leg sideways can move the tiny little arms and check out this jaw I don't really like it when the jaw is fully opened it seems like um, this lower jaw uh, is longer than the upper one but once you close it it is actually shorter <laughs> okay so this is the Rory Vaughn Matria Cantosaurus Whew, those roars are amazing okay right over here oopsie next the allosaurus another rory vol. all these rory vols, they are fantastic looking you can even see those scars battle scars some scars on the thigh some scars across the rib cage right over here can you guys see it brilliant these figures from Mattel they are just totally totally mind blowing I love them so so much okay the next one we have a Dimorphodon okay I will do a review I mean like a video where I show you guys all the codes so don't worry about that okay pretty cool you can actually nod its head like this size comparison way smaller than a the Indoraptor I mean next we have the Triceratops another raw revolve amazing hit sculpt this is brilliant okay 
Our last figure for comparison is the Monolophosaurus. This is from the Battle Damage series. Comes with this Dino Damage, which is a um, trademark or rather like a um, significant function from the Kenner Toys. So once you tap on this, it will spring right open to review the injury inside. Very cool, and if you compare it with the Indoraptor, it is way, way smaller. But yep! Alright, let's move on to the outro.